this time I mentioned a really cool, completely impromptu prediction card trick that you can do the instant you learn it. Let's do this. Okay, so this is a really cool impromptu prediction card trick, and what's going to happen is the spectator could shuffle up the deck. It could be their deck, in fact. It could be a borrowed deck. They shuffle up the deck as much as they'd like, you know, just because it's good to have them shuffle up the deck if they can. And then you're going to take the deck back, and you're going to spread it out just like this. And then you're going to ask the spectator to push a card towards you. It could be any card they want. So let's say they push this one right here, and you say, are you sure? They say yes. You know, you want to give them a second chance to make it more effective, all that stuff. So if they want, they could change their mind, all that stuff, you're going to pick up the deck and you're going to place this card to the side. Now what's going to happen is you're going to pick up the deck casually and you're going to spread through it as you mentioned to the spectator. So there's 52 decks in the card, you could have picked any card you wanted, there's 52 different options and what I want you to do is just name any card in the deck. So let's say they say the Seven of Hearts and you say out of all these cards you could have named any card in the world but you name the Seven of Hearts off of your own will. They say yes and you say this card was here the entire time, in fact, I didn't even make the prediction. You made the prediction, you picked any card you wanted, and you named any card you wanted. They say yes, and you say, look, this is really weird, but look, look, look. Just like that, the card that you have pulled out earlier is actually the same card you named the Seven of Hearts. When I was done, I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so for this tutorial, what you're going to need to do is this is an impromptu trick, so the deck can be shuffled as much as you want, all that stuff. And then you're going to take the deck back, and you're going to spread out the cards. All this stuff doesn't matter from now, there's only one slight and it's at the very, very end. Everything else doesn't matter. Well, actually, that's not true. There is some other slights in it. So anyways, the spectator is going to push any card towards you, so they push this one. And remember, you want to make this effective, so you're going to give them second chances. You're going to say, do you want to change your mind, all that stuff, but you want to make sure that this is the one you want, and in fact, you want to slow it down and all that stuff as well. So let's say they wanted to stick with this one. Now I'm going to take this card, this is not going to be the card. Well, I mean, you could get lucky technically. I mean, if they named the King of Clubs, that would be really lucky. But in this case, it's not. So you're going to push it over to the side, and then you're going to pick up the deck, and you're going to spread through it. And this is to train the audience to get used to you looking through the deck. And you're going to be talking about it a little bit. You're going to say, okay, there's 52 different options. There's no way I could know what card you picked, all that stuff. And then what you're going to do is you're going to mention to the spectator, as you're spreading through, can you just name any card in the deck? And you're going to do this towards yourself, but I'm going to do it down so you can see what's happening. So let's say they say the three of hearts. I'm going to be spreading through, and I'm going to say, you could have named any card in the entire deck, and I just rephrase myself. I see the three of hearts right here, and basically I get a pinky break underneath the three of hearts like that. So see, I have a break now, and I'm going to cut it to the top. So now I have the three of hearts on the top. Now, once you do that, you're going to have the three of hearts on the top. This is not their card. I mean, if you look through the deck and you don't find their card in the deck, that means this is the card and you got lucky and you could just show it like this. But normally that won't happen. So, you have the three of hearts on top. You're going to take this card and you're going to place it on top of the deck. And then you're going to do this slight. So, I know a lot of you probably would just want to do a double lift, but you can do that if you want, but this is the slight that I use. So, I like to hand the card out afterwards, so I pick up the card, I place it on top, and I do this move as I bend my wrist. So I basically take the second card as I bend my wrist. It's sort of like a second deal, but I think it looks really clean. So you bend your wrist like this, and you do the move that I just showed. It's really, really easy to do. You, it, you just get a break under the two cards and you pull the second card out like that. But you do it as you bend your wrist. So you bend your wrist and you pull the second card out like that. And it's really, really easy to do. And then you could hand this card out. Everything is completely examinable and that is how it's done. Well, that's pretty much it. If you like this content, subscribe down below to be notified of future uploads. I do lots of magic tutorials. I do tips and tricks. I do other kinds of magic videos. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, and subscribe. That's for now. I'll see you next time.